Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about VeChain. I thought it's uh, time for another update because VeChain did reach um, the target level, in my opinion, yeah. So in the previous level of that correction, I mean, yeah. Um, so we talked about here this coming very close at least or already being an impulsive move to the upside after it broke out of that descending wedge that we could see that as a wave three, we then came down in a wave four and we're moving up in a wave five. This is when I told you that we come very close now to the beginning of a correction, especially as we moved here towards the 200 day moving average, didn't come across, didn't come above, made a lower high. And then we talked about that correction could be coming, could already see here this um, daily um, MACD turn around. And overall that has been working out. Let me go to the four hour chart. What did we say about the minimum um, that this correction needs to do? Because it would be the first wave two. It is the 50% Fibonacci retracement and we can see, oops, we can see that the price did come very close already. Now we need to, we need to see that in the crypto world, sometimes these, we don't exactly get to these FIB levels. Yeah. So that is why I also said buy orders always slightly above these or in terms of take profits slightly below. To be fair, I think we're going to go a little bit lower anyway, um, especially because what's coming up here currently is not very convincing. But we need to see that, I mean, I told you the minimum would be the 6.4, 6.5 cent level. And I mean, we did come to 6.6. .6. I mean, it is very, very close in my opinion. I would count that as okay as reached. Um, in my opinion, the correction could already be over in terms of the Fibonacci levels. I've seen it many times before that they are not reached 100%. And the reason for that is that um, the problem, it's also a bit of a problem in terms of the accuracies because you have different exchanges here in the crypto world. Yeah, this is Bitfinex. Um, the prices might seem a little bit different, for example, on um, Binance and so on. So you get a few inaccuracies in there. Therefore, um, yeah. However, anyway, um, it's been working out pretty much. And also, if we take a look at this Oh, let me take the FIPS out first. So there is no reason to panic in my opinion. Um, yes, we can drop lower. Absolutely. This was only the minimum target. Um, and I think we are going to go a little bit lower anyway. But let's take a look at this because um, we also identified this descending triangle here before the breakout. And this is generally a bearish pattern. We can look at the price target of that descending triangle. That would also show us actually that we go a little bit lower to six cents that would take us. Yeah, because you take the height of that triangle and you add it to the breakout point. Now that would be around six cents. So therefore also I think we're gonna go a little bit lower. Um, and not only because of that, I think that, uh, first of all, I think we see a bit of a, a move up now um, and that um, could just be a little bit of a recovery because on the RSI here on the four hour chart, you are just now oversold. But if we go to the eight hour chart, you see there is still downside potential and the negative momentum is still ongoing here on the MACD and we could even get that bearish cross over. Um, also, we had a bearish cross over on the momentum indicator, the, Mac, uh, the sorry, the ADX and the I. And I think this is where we're gonna see the decision here and I think it's gonna play out. Probably tomorrow we are gonna see here the bearish cross over on the daily chart. That is also another sell signal. So the momentum is clearly towards the downside here. The daily candle has not closed yet outside of that descending triangle, but it would be very surprised if that candle gets back into the descending triangle within the next one or two hours. Um, just don't think it will. Now let's, you know, we, we just had a look and said, right, target would probably be six cents. Um, however, from an Elliott wave point of view, the minimum target, I would count that already as reached. Um, However, let's take a look where else, what else can we see? So on the four hour chart, we are way below the EMA ribbon. I think we're only going to get a, um, a sell signal here. So this is also pointing towards the downside. We moved below now the eight hour EMA ribbon. Yeah. So also here quite a bearish signal and we found support on the daily EMA ribbon. Now this at the moment is not a problem. This is actually okay. But again, the EMA ribbon is still a bit deeper. So the six cent level would actually also be achievable because the lowest EMA here is around 6.2 cents. So I think it's quite likely that we could actually see that um, drop. Now, what does the VPVR tell us? Where would the next major support level be as per the VPVR? And yeah, I think we can see that it's currently starting here sort of in this range. Um, so the previous volume showing the support level here. So pretty much starting at where we're currently finding some support here. 
Um, and this is where we need to get through here. Therefore, we find a bit of support coupled with being a little bit oversold on the four hour and the daily. But I need to tell you that I cannot yet see really that momentum shift. So on the daily, it's definitely still pointing down on the eight hour as well. On the hourly, it's normal that we see a bit of up and down. But what I can tell you is what is coming up here is still quite corrective. So these moves down have been very impulsive. You can see that you're moving down very strongly and you're moving up a little bit. So we could count this even here or even draw here a little bit like a pennant yeah, or a triangle pattern. So you can draw that like that. And this would be a bit of a bearish flag or bearish pennant yeah, where it's pretty clear that you get here or um, you're currently moving into an apex here. Um, and there's different ways of drawing it, but let's do it like that. So we're moving here into an apex of a triangle and the next move would be down if we uh, count that as a bearish flag, pretty much as this one as well was a bear flag or bearish pennant. So here moved into the triangle, moved down. So this always happened when, uh, or this happened here as well, when VeChain was oversold on the hourly and now it's oversold again and moved already higher here on the hourly. So at some point here you have more space again to move one more um, step down and another breakout to the downside would really happen if we break below that previous uh, rejection point here at 6.6 .6 cents. Um, and that's pretty much what I can tell you here currently about VeChain. Um, overall, looking at it from a high level point of view, VeChain did exactly what um, so far we expected. Pretty much it's been following everything we've said on this channel since I really covered it from an Elliott Wave point of view, which was end of November. It did reach their target area. It then moved out in line with expectation here out of this ascending, uh, sorry, descending wedge like it did back in June, July. It then moved higher, yeah, and now it's starting that correction that we talked about. So everything is going according to plan at the moment. Um, in this target area, this was the area, so for everybody who's new on this channel, this was the area where with the highest likelihood, I told you the price is going to turn around. So this was a nice buying area, $2 cost average in. But as I said, anybody who missed that, there will always be another entry point. And I think we are seeing this entry point now, or at least we're getting close to it. If you buy now, it's of course up to you. I won't give you recommendations to buy or not. I can only share you my own buy and sell orders and I share these on Discord. Um, I've accumulated a lot of VeChain in this area down there, had various of my buy orders trigger, not only once, but also several times. And um, yeah, I'm quite, quite pleased with that. Um, happy also with the price going down and being able to accumulate more if we drop a little bit lower. Um, but personally, I'm happy with, with what I've got of VeChain and I have high expectations for the next major wave up, which should take VeChain at least to the 45 cent level. That is the minimum. 200% um, FIP extension could also be at the 55 cent level. So somewhere in this region between 45, 55, maybe even a little bit higher would be the next major wave to the upside. And I mean, major wave in terms of, yes, we break the all time high and move higher. So um, I think we could be on the way already to the all time high. But um, I'm still a bit skeptical because I will get much more confident about that as soon as VeChain is breaking above the 10.2 cent level. That's a very important one. And it's for me nearly confirmed if we break above the 18.7 cents that is here above that B wave. Unfortunately, until then, it's still very uncertain and we have to have in mind that the price could drop again at any point in time. Okay, that's VeChain. Currently completely um, normal price moves, no reason to panic everything going according to plan at the moment. And hopefully you like the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.